So hello, welcome. Um, today I just wanted to introduce what I think is the best app um, for being able to do everything I need in a research project or a data science project in general. Um, or it could be in theory used for other types of projects, but this is what I found it useful for. Um, so why, what does it do? Why is it so good? So it combines uh, project management, um, note taking, managing tasks, and also, which I found so, so useful, is it's able to really track references well. Um, and I'll show each of these things bit by bit in this video today. Um, so what was I doing previously? So originally I would do everything with uh, written notes. So I would have something like this. I would have a notepad, uh, the small notepad, in which I would have all my daily tasks set out for the day or for the week. And I'd have to go through, tick them off, move them to the next day and so forth. And it was useful and I liked to be able to do it manually. But in the end, if I wanted to then backtrack in a year's time or a few months time, I was difficult to find all the information I needed or I'd lose a notebook and stuff. It wasn't ideal. So then I started to think, how do I transfer this into uh, more electronic formats? And I could try, tried a couple of other things such as to-do lists and everything, but I found their features were limited and it wasn't, it wasn't quite enough. And it, more importantly, I needed it to integrate well with all the other stuff I had to do, which was taking notes and tracking the progress of the project and the stuff and they just didn't just weren't able to do that so you needed to use something like uh, OneNote or Evernote and I tried using them but they just weren't quite right I mean I'm someone that uses a lot of math um, formulas and stuff like that and code formulas and it just wasn't ideal to be using a software that I couldn't really do that comfortably I needed some LaTeX implementation so I tried using Markdown writers but again they were limited they weren't perfect and it was hard to find something that did that as well as tracking the to-do list and everything. So I found this app um, that's quite new and it seems to be in early development stages. So why is it so good? So this is kind of a introductory page. This is a demo template that they give you. Um, well, you can do all of that. You can have tracking. Um, so I'll show, I'll show, just show you um, some of the templates. So if I want to make a new page, go through templates. So these are just some examples. So make a quick note, it's all marked down so you can include um, math for example, so I want to do LaTeX and I can add that really easily and do a quick equation and it's there. Um, things are easily drag and droppable and you can also have columns which is really handy I've found for certain things as well. So I'm going to show you what I've created as a template for my research projects. Um, so if I go to the home page of that, this is where I start with the project. So I have um, a quick intro along with what I need to be doing, what I'm kind of working on at the moment and what I've finished. So I, I have these laid out in multiple columns and when I'm finished with a project or a task, I have an archive. So it gets basically all dumped into there eventually, which you can simply drag and drop and it's then put into the archive page. And with that, I've then created a table so it's easier to keep track of. Um, and these sort of steps are really handy for me as someone who will have uh, research checkups quarterly, perhaps even yearly. So in three months time, I cannot remember everything I did over the three months, but it's really handy to have it laid out that I can easily export it from a table, go to my meeting and say, this is what I've done. Not trying to think of the top of my head, search through notebooks, it's all there, exportable in one nice way. So then what I've created is, I separate it nicely so it's easily digestible, is I've then outlined each of the uh, each of the um, sections for my research project. So I've done it following kind of the standard procedure of research. I've got an introduction, literary review, um, critical context, and so on and so forth. Um, and each of these are their own separate pages. And so this is merely a reference. Um, so if I click on this, it will take me to the page itself. So I can go into the introduction page. And this is all marked down, so it's normal text for most of it. But what this, as I showed earlier, what this allows us to do is to introduce maths and even introduce code cells. And these can be changed to different languages. So it has pretty much all the languages you can imagine um, here. So it really helps if I'm just drafting things up. And if I need to code it, obviously I can't do it in here. I'd have to use Python properly. Or if I wanted to write it up for a formal paper, I'd have to use proper writing procedures, but in terms of proposals and drafts and easy note taking, it's really, really handy. Um, so going back to the main page, having it all in one place, it's really, really handy and having it all there. So 
the next thing I find it so handy for, so so useful above anything else is for references. So I've previously been either tracking it bit by bit in like notebooks I said, or I've been using some uh, referencing library libraries that are available, such as Mendeley and stuff, but I found that ultimately the best format is really kind of just a table. You want it in like an Excel table, but if you put it in Excel, you're then limited to just having it in Excel and it's difficult then to track that with within different notes and stuff. So this is why it's so, so useful. So I go to the reference page, which and this is what I have. So I have a table. It's like an Excel table, basically, and it can be exported to CSV files as well. Um, and this is a full, full thing. So if I go through, I have a reference tag, which I'll come back to later, why that's so useful. Uh, the title of the paper I've even included, which is saying takes a bit of time, but I find it very useful, is the full bib text. You'll notice that some of these are colored differently. So these are all the tags, the journal publisher, and the type are all considered multi-select options. So what does that mean? So I basically created in each of these tags that then I can utilize later. So the first ones I've used to kind of categorize them to different themes. So it's handy to know if I have a list of 20, 30 papers to say, okay, I'm currently doing the method bit. I need to find papers about the method I'm trying to apply. And I can simply filter it straight away. So I could do add a filter um, by tags contains psychology and it'll do that or the video game set and so on. So that makes it really, really handy to um, to find things quick and easily. Same for the type of format as well. Um, and this can be taken even further. This is a simple table. It's no better than Excel in that format. But rather than limited to one format, you can do anything. So you can change to what's called a gallery, which this is, has all the information possible, like the table, um, has each of the papers as like a block. And you can see the, I've included the abstract as well, so I can get a brief introduction, have the title, I have um, the data was logged and the year and all the tags and everything. Um, so what I found this useful is even when you change the view, you can kind of have your own preferences to the way you want to look at the information. So rather than having this all full, I can save uh, what's seeable into a simpler format. So I don't need all of it. I just need the author, the title, and um, a couple of the other bits of information, the tags and stuff like that. So to do that, it's really simple. You just basically select each of the properties um, you would like to see in this view. And it will remember that. And each time you come back to it, it will be there. Um, and so there are other views. There are boards, which is similar to Trello. So you have this kind of cascading list. And they're grouped because I, all the references I have here are articles. They're all in one stack. But if I had different papers if it, for, or different styles or different, I could see that. Or I could group it by something different. So I could group it by the uh, publisher, which is quite handy. If you, I mean, I have a broad spread here, but maybe you have groups, consistent groups you want to look at, or the tags. Um, so really, really handy if you're able to see that nice and easily, a really good layout. And to be able to flip back and forth between the multiple views is so useful for different reasons. Um, and there's a simple list. I haven't found this too useful because it's kind of less information than, than what I need, but maybe it's sort of what you need and you just need uh, to see it quickly and easy. You need to have it as like a really simple, it's just there list. Um, and lastly, which is what I was saying earlier, when you save preferences, you can not only save the view style and the properties you're looking at, you can also save filters. So if I have the table full here, so I have one, two, three, four, five, I have a preset filter table based on um, only those that are articles, which doesn't really make sense because they're all articles, but I could change that to be uh, not that, but the, um, the tags and change that to just video games and that will save. So every time, so we'll see these are the ones video games. So every time I come back to it now, I can, I can just have that filter. And then you can rename it as you like as well. So it's really easy to do filtered, so table, filtered. so now I have that remembered. And you do that multiple times, so you could really keep track of your references. So now why is this so useful, and why have I found this particularly useful in here? If you notice, the reference tag I have here um, seems a bit strange, like why would I have this? This is not something that's normal. Well, the reason why is because if I go back to the introduction, what you can do is if you're writing a load of text and you're drafting something, um, rather than having to 
kind of keep track of your reference in your head or have them listed down or have them printed out or whatever it is, you can simply reference them in the line. So the way you do that is I just go at and then start the thing and it's there. And it will only have the tag. So that's kind of the name of it. You can reference page names basically. Um, so that's what I have here. And what can I do that? Why is that so, so useful? Well, you can actually just access the page straight away without any hesitation. And all the information I have about the reference here, including, in this case, I put the abstract. You could have more than that. You could have notes. You could have, uh, you could add anything you want. Um, and it makes it, in my opinion, one of those powerful tools for drafting um, research. So you can really use this at your full disposal. If you have other things that you want to quickly reference here and there, links, web pages, anything, videos, it's all there, um, and it makes it so useful. Um, and then the other thing I've managed to do with this, so I have in the going back to the homepage, I have some quick notes, web link here, which then also has a little preview if you want it, um, is to track meetings. So this is something I have to do for part of my research. Generally, as I should be tracking when I met my supervisor, um, what I spoke to them about, how long, just so when it comes back to quarterly or yearly reviews, I can say, look, I met them this amount of times, this is what we discussed, this is what I did, and so forth. It means that you can really keep track of it. So this is a calendar view, which I found quite useful for a number of reasons. But if I just quickly change it to a table, I have it all here. So all I have is the, I've named each research meeting, um, I've given it a date, and I've given some text. So here, you can, these are just made up things. So I, I met my supervisor, I met my supervisor and co-supervisor, and I met, had a team meeting as well. So within each, I they are also pages, and I can open them and have like a preview, and I just have quick notes. What did I do? What are the next steps? Um, what did we discuss? Um, so in a week, two weeks time, you can quickly look back and say, okay, we discussed this, I was meant to do this, did I do it? Did I do it? Did I, have I, um, achieved what we discussed in our meeting. Um, you can use it for team meetings as well. You could keep, take minutes, um, keep track of what's going on, who's doing what, stuff like that, um, what the um, projects are. And you can use it for more detailed project planning and minute taking. But for my purposes, I don't need to be doing that. I'm not part of like a client outfacing team, so I don't need to go to that level. But this is certainly something you could be doing. And so this is in line, but it's also its own page. So if I go here, it's just by itself. Um, and you can change that for the different things as well. So, um, reference example is currently just a link to the page, but I could turn it to inline, and the table will be there, uh, which I found particularly useful for certain things as well. Um, and what's interesting as well, you can even, when I was talking about referencing, I, I referenced items from the table of references, but you can even do that for meetings. So if I'm if I'm doing a note where I said um, need to finish this project because of discussion from and I could do app research meeting one two let's say and again if I want to then quickly see well, what was in that meeting why do I need to finish this bam it's there and you can go back and it's so powerful to be able to interweave your project management your task your to-do list um, any whatever you want to call it um, and your actual notes in a markdown format, which allows you to do mass and everything else. Um, there are a couple of other things I found quite useful. So I have a page as well for archiving files. So I just say, this is just a table, just has the page for each um, file, which again, of course, you can reference as well in, in text. Um, and I've just basically title, any notes, what I did basically for it, tags again which you can filter on you can sort by which will come later as I put more and more in there over the next year or so and the actual file itself and when I actually kind of finished that um, submission um, so I've just been playing around with demoing um, what a proposal will look like so if I'm just drafting a proposal I would have um, a quick to-do list so what am I doing and what have I completed so I can drop it I'll probably delete that if I was going to send it off um, so I have an introduction, a review, critical context. this is all made up text obviously, uh, methodology with a bit of a demo of the maths again of the code cell, um, and each section there laid out. And you have the references, so this could links you directly back to the reference page. Um, of course you can then pull the references forward as well as I mentioned earlier, you have other links, uh, which is handy, and I found you can even do time plans. 
So using the calendar view, or you can change the view as well, but using the style, you can set a start and end date. So, you, so this is a, let's say, a one month project. I started on the 4th and I finish it on the, well, March the 1st. And so I can keep track of what I'm doing each day or what I should be doing each day and how it's going on. Maybe I can extend it. So I want to push this forward or push it back, I should say. Um, and yeah, so that's really handy as well. Um, so I've made this template and I've actually made this template public. Um, so I will have a link for that down in the description as well as we make, I'll be making a medium post, which I will link, uh, which will summarize each of the things I've done in a bit more written detail perhaps. Um, and I hope that you found this demo useful because I've, yeah, I don't normally do, would do this content like this, but I've been so amazed by what this app is able to achieve and how it's helped me already with planning my research and doing data science projects. Um, yeah, I basically was struggling to find an app. All the ones I found just couldn't achieve everything combined. So I hope you find this useful and I, yeah, hope you start using this as well.